Okay, I'd like to talk through how you can actually mark work on Canvas and then download it all together. If you go to any of your assignments here, you'll see the submissions here. Uh, there is a separate video on how to set up an assignment, but so I won't go through that now. I would then go to Speed Grader and I can see all the students' work. I don't want to show you student work, so I will show you this made up work. So this is what Speed Grader might look like. And you might notice at the top here that we have a few different options for annotations. And I am doing this using my stylus. So the stylus is the pen that came with our new laptops. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use that, but just off to the side here, uh, you can see when the, the work was submitted, the word count, and you can see that I stole this directly offline and that my 99% similarity score is something to be worried about. Click on that, and that will take you straight to turn it in. And once again, another video on how to interpret that. Clearly, 99% is not something that we want, uh, but it, it makes sense because I stole the whole thing from one place. But I want to mark it. So I'm going to just click these three dots to give me a little bit more screen real estate. So you'll see up the top you have a, a series of different uh, things you can do for annotations. I'm using my stylus to do this. You can do it with a mouse, but it's a whole lot easier with the stylus that comes with the laptop. So here I'll choose my color. To me, green means good, and I'll go through and actually read the thing, and love it, love it. Gee, this is great. Um, nice. And I can write words and have a good time. Uh, and if I decide that I have made a mistake, I can get rid of them with the little rubbish bin. Or, I really like this, I really like this, I can pop in and say, nice stuff. Maybe not have the caps lock on. So I can continue to do that with ticks. I can change the color of my ticks and circles. Uh, you know, have a good time. And you can always have the option to add that comment or delete that comment and just leave it the way that it is. Highlight works as well, but I found with the stylus that I need to hold the top button to get the highlight to work. If I just kind of press along here, it doesn't do anything, but if I hold the button, the top button closest to the top, then it works. And again, these allow you to have, oops, these allow you to have comments as well that can be downloaded at the end. Uh, with something a little bit more visual, you might choose to look at the whole area. Let's see, let's make that yellow. And I just want to focus on this area of the image, and I can say something about that area. And this is actually a conversation, so the student could go in there and reply to you here, or you can further add to it. Of course, you can take them away. So I find that's useful, these squares, for uh, if you want to get a whole section, or if you have a graphic or a music, something... Um, we just want to look at little bits. You can add text, you can add strike through, and the last one is just a point. So this one I want to make a little purple point at this moment. And that just says, at that moment, leave a comment there. And in the end, when you're finished doing all these annotations, uh, you can go back to those three dots, put your mark in however you've set it up. You can add an overall comment and submit that. And then if you go over here, I'll use me, me mouse to show you, this allows you to download the annotated PDF. If I go back to my real one, if I download submissions here, I get every single submission with the student's name on it. Fantastic, but I don't get the annotation. So Gavin is working on a way for that to happen. At the moment, if you want to download it with all these annotations, which will come out as a PDF, and whatever you've written off to the side, if you or a confirmer hovers over it, you will get those annotations. This is how you do that. I hope you find this helpful.